so here we are in our basic recursive family that we set up in the, the earlier video. And this is my unshared family that's sort of the root of recursion. And I've got another family here that is shared. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to nest this into the other one to basically give me a sort of a, a placeholder geometry to sit at the root of my whole recursive system. And this is, again, this is just um, this is another adaptive component that just has a sweep geometry along it. I'm going to load it back into this guy, and I'm going to place it actually where its adaptive points are. Like that. And I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to save it as recursion 2. I'm going to overwrite that earlier one that we made. Yes, I want to overwrite it. And I'm going to close down this. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the one for now. And I'm going to open up recursion 1. And I'm going to start my nesting behavior. So I'm going to load into recursion 2. And I'm going to place this guy. Basically, I'm just going to repeat that same assignment of parameters that we did before. So this is all this is all old hat to you guys now. You've done this. But I'm just going to repeat it just to sort of show you how this behavior works. Do it one more time. Assign parameters one more time. And then start going crazy with my recursion. In fact, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I don't start having um, intersecting geometry. Like that. <coughs> and let's just add one more layer of recursion. Actually, this might start intersecting here. Nope, nope, it's still okay. Okay, so let's say that that's enough to just get us our basic recursive behavior. And I want to go in and I'll make this guy a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. And we can see I can still flex this thing. It takes a little bit longer to regenerate because it's got some geometry on it now. So now I say, you know what, I don't actually want my recursive family here to have a round sweep, let's say. Well, I can go back into my shared family here, and let's say I just want to edit that profile. So it's a circular profile right now. Let's say I just go and replace that with a rectangular profile. A circle, there's four sides, and there. Finish editing. Now if I load this back into recursion 2, actually either one of them, it's going to percolate through all of these guys and update them all to that different geometry. And that's how I can start using the placeholder geometry with a shared family.